There we go again. My son Dorush. He showed interest to play some Blitz games for our celebration for 10,000 subscribers. And we said, okay, that's a good idea. So he's going to be playing some games. Are you ready? Is he Yeah, he's Okay, let's get started. He's going to be playing against someone on five minutes. So, okay, we have a game. Everything started. He played his favorite knight of six. And there we go. Just a moment. He's always touching to this board at the same time and moving the board. Now, this, this guy went for the London system. Goes for this uh, pretty solid b5 setup. Okay, what is he gonna do? He's opposing the dark square bishop. That's what I showed him once. I just told him this is how you have to play opposing the dark square bishop and at the same time defending this pawn on c5 perfectly well. By the way, believe it or not. Of all the systems against London system, this one is the best. And Magnus also used it um, against someone who managed to win. And don't forget, London became the most popular mainly thanks to Carlson and his great results with the white pieces. So this is system. This is the system that is actually kind of like we won't call it in the classic sense of that word refutation, but it actually that presents like a pretty uh, nice refutation in terms of not giving white uh, any chance to get an advantage. Anyways, let's go. He breaks with e5. Yes, that's exactly the plan. And this is what I showed him as his coach. That he just has to uh, either break in the center with e5 or take on g3. But I also told him never take on g3 unless he casts. Because then you can take on g3. As long as he's got this rook on uh, h1, uh, it, he, he shouldn't take it. But now he's kind of forced to play like h6. So let's see if he's gonna go for that. So to play either h6 or bishop g4. I just want to remind you of one fact once again. He doesn't know a word of English except like, hi, my name is Urush and stuff, this stuff. So basically, anything I explain to you uh, during these games, he's not going to be able to understand. Okay, he played absolutely the best move, uh, pins the knight, stops the action, and to be honest, this guy also for a thousand uh, plays like a quite good chess. And by the way, they have absolutely equal ratings. Okay, this is nice, uh, quite an interesting game, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen there. Uh, yeah, this guy seems to learn like the basics of the London system and uh, let's just see what's gonna happen there. Uh, nice one. Uh, he just places the rip in the open file and not a golden rule. Uh, you always should place your rooks and pieces onto the open files perfectly well. Not just on the open files, but supporting the opponent. On top of all that, actually, he does something else as well. Actually, he's placing his rooks on the open files. By the way, I'm just trying to explain to you like the basics of these positions, so he's not bothered by that. He's in his own world, and. Uh, that's why I'm talking like so much, just to make it easier for you to follow and to make it better. Okay, so let's see this guy made a kind of tricky move. Yes, he plays the best move. He doesn't want to allow him bishop takes h7. Not even thousand players uh, are not which what they used to be. Uh, but I can see like a very good, uh, not even decent game of chess, much more than that. This was an opening, theoretically important, theoretically absolutely fine. So far I, I haven't seen a single mistake by both of these guys. So I'm pretty satisfied with the quality of the game.
for example, the better place for the bishop was on c8. Because on c8, he would keep both of these rooks open, while the bishop on c8 just, you know, like goes back and temporarily stands passing there. just took the knight and realized that he could win the pawn. This is a very nice game so far. I'm pretty proud of him and his opening uh, moves, uh, middle game, everything what he did so far in this game looks like pretty good. Yeah, he realized that he was about to win this pawn as well. Here is an interesting uh, thing. Um, Urosh and his sister Masha, they asked me to take them out uh, to just write their, like, uh, how do you call that? Rollers or whatever. And I just said, okay, when would you like to uh, make that game that you asked me that you want to play? And he said, well, I can do it now, and if I win, you you gotta promise us that you're going to actually uh, keep us out like for additional one hour. I said okay, if that happens, so let's go. And so far, he's actually playing a perfect game. He's also making some nice tricks here, threatening in the discovery. Okay, this guy removed from discovery. They're just approaching the. Severe time travel. He's extremely slow without any experience there. But okay, it's a part of the Blitz game as well, and that's what he has to do. This is weak move. This is weak move because he's not supposed to give his opponent chance. And I believe he just gave a lot. Yeah, exactly. Bishop takes g6. He made a terrible move uh, because. Especially in, in position where he was up like two pawns, he doesn't have to, you know, like show any kind of risks like this and uh, to play a game like that. Now his opponent has some counter chances. I'm not saying that he's not winning, but he gave him some chances. You're not supposed to do that in your games. This guy also takes like a lot of time. I believe that he has to play where takes h6 with some, I don't know, tricks like for h8, queen g7 and stuff like that. For some reason, he takes so much time. And by the way, uh, one golden rule about defense is that the best defensive piece around your king is the knight. So basically, you, you shouldn't forget that. Absolutely, the best way to defend yourself is if you have the knight. And here, Rush is having the knight, uh, which gives him like quite a good and promising defensive chances. So let's see what's gonna happen. This guy's running out of time. He has to play faster, but don't forget, Rush is not fast at all. His specialty uh, certainly is not blitz. This guy played with some terrible moves there, and now we gotta see his realization. He wants to keep this guy. Yeah, exactly. Swapping off like pieces. Rush wants to meet with the rook, but the guy doesn't want to take the pawn and uh, he's actually looking for some still meeting chances. Um, 
Meister. This this was great game, I have to say. And uh, he just won his bet with his sister against me, so I'll have to take them out to drive their their rollers for like additional hour. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna be blitzing some 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 games on chess.com on my mobile phone in the meantime. Let's go for another one. Oh, she shouldn't. Let's go for another one. This was a great game. Okay. Let's go. He's now playing against some Canadian guy. Ooh, this guy went for the Alakine defense. Yeah, against the Alakine defense. Rush. Absolutely. Uh, against each opening nose, like first couple of moves, like three for maximum five moves. I believe it's very important. I believe it's very important because you need to know. Oof, this guy played some terrible moves. You need to know like the basics in order to, I don't know, like reach good positions in middle games thanks to good opening knowledge. So yeah, he absolutely played the best move. Reacts in the center. You see even. His reaction after the guy played like knight f4, it looks bad, and let's just see what's gonna happen there. Oof, this guy is way better, way worse than him. Uh, okay, uh, don't 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 get me wrong, but definitely his strength shouldn't be around uh, 1,000 in blitz. He actually he's got like 17, even around 1,800 on 10 minutes um, on chess.com. So basically this. Is way better than this. Let's take a look at the realization. He's just developing his pieces. That's nice. This is a clever move because he just wants to exchange pieces. He's up a piece. So that makes sense. Another clever move. He's forcing an exchanges. That's what I like and makes very much sense. Could have taken an d8 and to take an a5 and he would have won the piece. This way he just won the pawn. I'm gonna tell him that after the game. I will see pawn and put the pawn and the pedestal. Okay, sorry. Let's go to the next one. Okay, sorry. I just had to tell him immediately because after the game I might forget as well. And it's not something that may happen still in the game so. I'm not affecting even his opponent by explaining that to him. He's going for bishop b3, he actually keeps on developing his pieces like normally. It's a very nice position, he's up a piece, he should be completely winning. This guy has a terrible pawn structure as well. He's got like three pawn islands. When you teach your kids, always remember uh, they need to keep the healthy pawn structure. Uh, less number of pawn islands as possible in this case they're like free anyways let's just see what's gonna happen he keeps on exchanging pieces normal reaction and placing the work on the open file i like it very much this is what you need each your kids play they play just to make like a bunch of good logical moves he almost moved at night and realized that the pawn on his face hanging and now he goes back to their winning smart and good enough i like it uh, it's also good uh, when you realize that he realized that he cannot do something because uh, he saw it and he actually understood that he was making mistakes. So it's good. It's good actually. He he he's playing this game in a pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. He's up a piece and not just up a piece. 
is uh, on top of all that upper form should be like completely white another clever move when you're stronger exchange pieces uh, he took it for granted and took it just like that okay so i'm better so let me just break these coins off makes sense i like it very much also threatens that pawn b6 in case this guy i don't know plays something else so let's see what is he going now up two pawns a piece this guy probably wanted to push c5 and go for his last uh, tricky option that was c5 followed by queen g2 a pretty good thing uh, he's bringing the coin back into the game and i believe that like he's gonna go for c5 that's his only chance to finish this game in a tricky way and let's see if he's gonna go on there playing the best defensive move and luckily he didn't wonder this this is a nice one and goes along the rule like exchange as many pieces as possible when you're winning. This guy probably uh, is taking like a big amount of time to realize how can he avoid this queen free. Uh, I believe that the only move should be queen h5. Nothing but queen d4. Actually, with the queen d4, he's threatening nothing because, in case of queen c3, he would have like discovery with the bishop itself. He sees tactics pretty well, so pretty sure he's gonna find this. Uh, for example, uh, he's still like very young and he forgets about the time. So the, somehow you just have to talk to them. I mean, when you talk to your students or your kids to play faster this type of the game. Being up to bones and peace, he's not supposed to think so much. That's, that's a that's pretty, I would say, inconsistent and a pretty bad time. Look at this. He spent like 30 seconds of this one. Okay, play this one and normal, special, but he was, he, he certainly shouldn't spend like 45 seconds on making such a move, it's pretty logical, it's normal, and by the way, this guy wasn't even threatening anything there. I just had to remind him that he's got like 30 seconds more and I just said always the same, you're always running out of time. That's why he's a little bit, let's just say, worse in Blitz games because I don't know why and I don't know how but sometimes all these kids somehow fall asleep regarding the time and they just have a pretty bad management but okay it takes time to kill the own, like small weaknesses in their play I won't comment now so much so he can concentrate Discover attacking 
check and do the queen of YouTube, but forget about it. He just said that he would have won on time anyways because the guy is slow. So he doesn't talk about like him being slow, but he's talking about himself. Uh, okay, uh, I just told him that he needs to be faster. Uh, um. He doesn't want to play anymore. Well, hopefully you enjoyed these two games. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Bye.